So Tim, I didn't get to film you when I was working on my documentary, Two Angry Moms, about school food. But since I got to write a book as a sequel to the movie, I was able to follow you around in New Haven and talk to you a bit about what it's like to transform a school food system. Your example in New Haven really is an amazing model for other people who want to do this in school districts around the country. It's a big city. You have a very high poverty rate. A lot of kids are on the free and reduced priced lunch program. What was New Haven like before you got here? You know, when I started in New Haven, there was um, like chicken nuggets were on every day, mozzarella sticks, nachos, breaded chicken patties, you know, pizza Fridays, and, and all the, the typical trends for school meals. And they were doing everything the way it was supposed to be done, following the rules, but as a chef and as a father, you know, I want to focus on uh, fresh vegetables and fresh fruits and, uh, you know, many products from local farms and, and really think outside the, the lunchbox and do things a lot different. What have you been able to do in New Haven in the three years now that you've been here? You're going into your fourth year? Since a lot of our kids are hungry kids, we need the kids to eat, so we need to take the, the right steps to make the right changes, but we also need to take the right steps to make sure that these kids are actually eating the food. We do a roasted chicken, which has bones in it. Mm -hmm. So it's not that their bones are manufactured into the chicken, it's the chicken is grown with bones, like a normal chicken, and that's what we serve to the kids, roasted, and we serve it with um, mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes, or we make these uh, cool sweet potato chips, which is just a sweet potato, fresh, that we hand cut and then we roast them off. You know, we want kid-friendly food, but we want to make it fun, we want to make it healthy. I like this. Yeah, that's good. We do a lot of work with our local farms. Last year, we bought over 140,000 pounds of just Connecticut-grown products, which is pretty amazing for a small state with a short growing season. And then we're working with our student-grown products. Stuff from this school garden goes into our salad bars. We work with um, a student-run farm in the district and then this year we're rolling out salad bars for all our elementary schools and some of our high schools which will really um, bring us to the next level of offerings of the fresh vegetables. We're going to incorporate uh, grains like barley or quinoa into the mix. If I can get the kids going right after a black bean quinoa salad, mm -hmm. you know that's better for us. I want to know what your message is to people like me, parents who are sending kids off to school, maybe, you know, they're even sending kids to nursery school for the first time, daycare, kindergarten, or they have a child who's 18 and going off to college, like I do. Where do they start and how can they help people like you who are working in this business and, and really trying to serve their kids the best thing you can? So I think that the number one thing is is to get go to the school, have lunch at the school, and see what's there. You know, kids have stories for everything. So, okay, this, you know, oh, mom, dad, we had this, and it was awful, and it was horrible. Well, that awful, horrible thing could have been a quinoa salad, and the kids just didn't know what it was, you know? Mm -hmm. So then set up a meeting with the food service director and, and go that route. To do it any other way is just going to cause problems, and it's going to the food service director or the administration is just going to be like, stop, you know, we're doing, we're following the rules, leave us alone. Yeah, and I wrote the book for that exact reason, because my first impulse was just to go in there and tell them, I know how to do this better, and they look at me and would say, who are you? And I heard from so many parents who had tried to do that exactly and failed, so I said, okay, we need to educate ourselves. That's what the book is for, and for me, the topic is just so important because it touches on not only the health of our own kids, it's about the health of our planet, it's about the future of our health care system. If you want to learn more about what you can do in your community, in your school district, I really encourage you to go to the website angrymoms.org. You can purchase a DVD of the movie Two Angry Moms and show it in your community and you can buy a copy of the book Lunch Wars that is really the tool that you need to learn everything you need to know to become an advocate for your children's health. As parents, we can't afford to ignore the issue. We've got to all step up and do something about it. So I want to really thank you for taking you. the time to sit with me today and give us an inside view.